All that jazz and rational asset analyzer. Today I invited Amy Silberbauer to talk to us about uh, IBM Integrated Solution for System Z development or to be more precise about the integration of Rational Asset Analyzer and Rational Team Concert that is included in that solution offering. Amy will tell us how simple it is to set up scanning of Rational Team Concert artifacts with Rational Asset Analyzer. The exercise of deciding what exactly should be scanned out of JAZZ or RTC stream is left to the user. If you have any questions that are Rational Asset Analyzer related, please come and ask in uh, Developer Works forum uh, on Asset Analyzer. It is easy to find in your search engine, just enter Asset Analyzer forum. It will most likely be the, the top level pick. Now, Let's go to my conversation with Amy. Hi, Amy. Thank you for uh, spending time with me. Welcome, everyone. Thanks, Vashik. This is the landing page to get all the information that you need about the IBM Integrated Solution for System Z development. This is a core set of enterprise modernization products that are um, put together as part of a solution. Products that are part of this solution are a rational developer for System Z, rational team concert, with the RDZ um, unit test feature, and rational asset analyzer. Asset analyzer fits within the analysis phase at life cycle, and as you can imagine, you know, a change comes and it needs to be analyzed for the scope and risk of that change. And so an SME would use our uh, Rational Asset Analyzer to analyze the scope and risk of the change request. This fits perfectly to one of the conversations that I had even today where before implementing Asset Analyzer, a large corporation was using email to assess and collect the information about impact of a change to the database that they were doing. Now, and no change will happen without RAA's impact analysis. That's very interesting, and it fits right in with the use case that we support with the Accelerated Solution, where REA is used as the core product for that analysis phase of the life cycle, and uh, with Rational Team Concert as part of the solution for not only project management, and, but also source code management. What we've done is tie Rational Asset Analyzer uh, with Rational Team Concert so that the, the metadata or the, the inventory that RAA captures is automatically updated um, as part of an RTC build. And so that's really what we want to focus on today is how, how did we do the RTC RAA integration as part of the accelerated solution. That's cool because I've heard uh, requests for description of how you can do it. Oh, it must be hard. Is it hard? It actually isn't hard, and what I want to do is switch gears and take you to what the solution pro provides in the solution walkthrough guide. We actually document the process. The solution actually sh shifts some artifacts that are a part of um, what's required to set this up. We always recommend as a best practice that uh, customers pick a specific stream that they've defined in RTC and make that the stream that represents their their source code uh, that they want to capture as a snapshot in time and inventory in RAA. They can certainly have multiple RAA repositories that reflect different streams. We can also even talk about maybe how to how to do this through sites, perhaps. But in in the accelerated solution, we suggest that that be a formal test stream. We actually walk you through the steps of making sure that you can set up the RTC RAA integration so that you can scan a stream as part of an RTC build request. First requirement is that we need to have the Jazz build engine installed and started on the same machine where the REA server is. We recommend that you create an application in REA to hold the scanned artifacts. Use the regular REA browser-based interface. You can define an application. And in this case, I called it retail. This is an optional step. There are two other deployment assets that we ship as part of the solution. One is the XML that is used to actually initiate the build request, and the other is a text file that REA build requires 
uh, to set up that scan request. This is just going to specify the scan request. And what I've highlighted what you would need to customize for your environment. Okay. The second file is the build script that's going to be used to initiate the scan request. The next steps are actually performed in RTC. I have a set of build definitions, among them REA scans. This is a standard uh, build engine and build definition of RTC with uh, everything that we get from RTC 3, the ability to schedule it and Absolutely. control the schedules, uh, see the results, set the properties, pass parameters. This is, this is cool. Yes, absolutely. All of this infrastructure comes with RTC. Under Jazz Source Control, this is where you um, tell the build request where it's going to get the source from, and that's in the bank test stream. Very typical best practice of any RTC build. So we have a bank test stream here on the left, and we have an associated RAA scan workspace that is picking up changes that are integrated into that test stream through promotion or package and deploy, any of those mechanisms that are part of RTC. On the AMP page, you specify the build script. Build request goes from the build definition to build engine, and uh, the build client runs a script, and uh, the scanning happens. Correct. Makes a request to RTC to say, hey, go get me the source code. Here's the stream that I want it from, and here's where I want you to put it. What you see up on the top are the, is the build result, and again, typical RTC. This was an REA scan build request. If we go to the log, what this log is telling you is it made a request, and um, the response was okay, the return code zero, and we're good. It is that simple. Finally, what I'll show you is the home page of REA. You'll be able to see we actually did scan into REA, um, into that application. We're going to go to the application page, the retail application. Is um, taking a look at the containers. The source files were fetched from RTC. The projects that I have in RTC, and if I switch back to RTC, what we actually scanned is the Bank X project and the common directory, which has the copy books that are common across the source files in the Bank XX subdirectory. There was an, a, an extra setup step in which I created the concatenation set to point to the common copybooks subdirectory. You do need to go through error resolution for some of these typical things. For example, you might be missing some source code, which is um, a good reason why you might want to use REA and do this initial preparation step as part of an RTC migration effort to make sure that you've mm -hmm. gotten all the source code from the mainframe into RTC. Right, um, or when you are setting up any outsourcing project. Correct. Going back to REA, it works exactly as if you were to scan from, uh, uh, you know, from within the REA browser-based interface, and it's all uh, scanning right from the same location that we told RTC to extract from the stream. And we go to the, our application that you set up, explore applications, and and see the application diagram, maybe. Uh, make sure you scan your DB2 databases. And uh, then you will have a complete application diagram, and in this case, uh, also transaction flow. Uh, so I happen to have those scanned here. Separate steps in the preparation and setup, which are clearly documented in the walkthrough guide. So here's the application diagram. Amy, thank you very much. This was great. Appreciate you sharing it with us. You're very welcome, Leszek.